not soft. It is not unmeasurable, nor is it intangible. In fact, culture is a simple, hard skill. It's very measurable, and it's acutely tangible. So many leaders view culture as a touchy-feely, woo-woo, airy-fairy ideological concept. They see it as maybe a morale thing. I bet if we pulled 100 people in this room right now to describe their culture, they would talk about feelings. You might say something like, people feel good coming to work. Our culture is good. It feels like a family. Or you would say, my culture is a bad culture. People are disengaged. They don't like coming to work. Well, the secret is that culture is not about feelings. It's one thing to say, trust me, it works. It's another thing to actually have the research and the science behind it. So we looked at employee engagement surveys. Clarity of results alone, this top of the pyramid, that is the number one most powerful thing that you can do to drive culture. Ask people to answer the question, why does this purpose resonate with you? Much more powerful than culture fit is purpose fit. It's when my purpose aligns with the purpose of this organization, then I know I'm in the right place. The way I was acting before was, ah, I'm not getting what I want, I have to do something else, which is how we run business. But if you really want people to act differently, you have to change their beliefs. So why are we here? How is this company gonna make a difference? How is this team within this company gonna make a difference? And if I understand why we're here, it gives me more meaning in the work that I'm doing. Everyone wants to have a vocation. Purpose is your why. Strategy is your how. And culture is the way to get results. So now we must ask ourselves, well, how will we know when we've succeeded in creating a culture that sustains our growth? Well, typically, culture is measured through employee engagement, and the higher the engagement, the better our culture is. I mean, that's what we've been told. Employee engagement is limiting in that it's only measuring the extent to which the employee fits within their role as a worker. What if it's time to abandon the antiquated notion of employee engagement and move towards a new measurement, which I'm gonna be calling employee fulfillment. Employee fulfillment puts the human first again. It asks, to what extent are you fully developed in your abilities and your character? Do you feel whole? Can you feel whole here? Reach for that goal and employee turnover will plummet. Creating a culture that puts employee fulfillment first is going to be a culture that ultimately supports your strategy beyond any other. I would love to come speak at your event and share further insights into our research about how you can co-create a culture that gets results.